Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel, welcome back. Mariam here, and today is the day where I test new makeup, slap it onto my face, create a look. Usually with these videos, I don't plan any sort of look. I kind of just go with the flow, I listen to the makeup, I let it do the talking, and then I let it create stuff on my face. So essentially, this is going to be the video. I'm gonna talk you through it. I'm in like a positive chipper type of mood. So subscribe if you aren't already. Notification bell for Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get into it. Testing new makeup. Three, two, one. One, two, three. Here we come. The bangs are growing out. I don't know, either I need to trim them so that they can be bangs again, or I need to get them reshaped so that they can be curtain bangs, because right now I'm attempting to get them to look like curtain bangs, but I'm not sure if I'm succeeding. It's it's not exactly like blending into the rest of my hair. I feel like it needs a little bit more of a zhuzh over here. But anyway, let's talk makeup. I've got a new primer to test out. Perhaps it's not even new. It's from MAC Studio Fix. It's the Mattifying 12 Hour Shine Control Primer. So that sounds great to me because I'm oily AF. If you have been following me for a long time, if you've been subscribed to my channel, you already know this. You know that I'm oily AF and I like to talk about that in pretty much every video. But this is supposed to control the oils feels like a Makeup Forever primer. You know the one, the mattifying, oil controlling one. This one's scentless though, so that's kind of nice. Feels kind of slippery on the skin, almost like it has a silicone finish or silicone-y ingredients. Let me actually look that up, because I still have all the paper packaging here. Let's see, this is water-based dimethicone, which is a silicone, is the second ingredient. So yep, I was right, it definitely feels and looks silicone-y. So if you don't like that, beware, but I personally, am a fan, it works for me, so I'm gonna continue using it. Next up, I wanna do a little bit of underpainting. I have a lot of blushes and bronzers and cream products and things that I wanna test out. Namely, I have these uh, two cream blush sticks from Victoria Beckham Beauty and I realize that these are not super, super new, but somehow they like slip through the cracks and they kind of got mixed up with some of my makeup that I've already tested here on this table, which is a mess, by the way. It is such a hot ass mess. You wouldn't believe it if you saw it. You wouldn't believe that this is actually me and this is what my table sometimes can look like. But you know what? It's been a long month. All right, so we've got two shades here. Wow, a really, really pretty orangey one. This one is called Fever. And I'm wondering if this could be used on the lips as well, but clearly it says cheek stick. So I'm just gonna stick to that. The second shade is Fame, which is a muted, like berry tone, like a plummy berry tone. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go for the brighter one because it just looks cool. Just creating some Nike swooshes on my face. Before I blend that out, I have a PR package from Nude Sticks. Here we have more blush sticks and also some bronzer sticks. Also some uh, lip and cheek colors. So I guess I should try this too. So we've got Sunkissed Pink, Sunkissed Cool, and Shade Sunkissed. Mm, I think I just wanna go for the bronzers. I'll save these for later. In the bronzers, we've got Bondi Bell. This is weird, this looks like it's already been swatched. It's really bizarre. That's my first time opening it up. I don't know if it's been swatched, but there's definitely some weird looking ripples on it. Um, hmm, check it, what do you think? Fresh from the PR package. I'm not sure what that is. I've never really seen that before. Looks like it's scratched on the top. <laughs> you know what? Not a problem, not a problem. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a paper towel. Maybe it hasn't been swatched. Maybe that's just like an imprint. Anyway, I'm gonna remove like the top layer of that, <laughs> which honestly, <laughs> it looks like that's what's already been done here. But anyway, I'm gonna test it out. I'm gonna add a little bit here. A little bit there. I've known a couple of content creators who have done collabs with Nude Sticks. Specifically, I know of Melissa Alatori who's done one, and also more recently, Glamzilla has done one. But outside of that, not really like too, too familiar with their products. I mean, I get what they do, and I get that there's lots of different shades of like bronzers and blushes, but I'm wondering like how many bronzer and contour and blush shades, well, blush shades you can have many of, but how many bronzers and contour shades can you really have? Just my thoughts. All right, so now that I've done that, I look amazing. I'm gonna start blending this out. I'm gonna use two different brushes. I'm gonna use the Multitasker Sigma brush for the bronzer. I'm gonna start with the bronzer first. This brush, by the way, is major key. It's so good. I don't even know why I just said major key. 
but the point is I really like this brush. Sigma, the multitasker, linking it below, recommending it to you guys. It's very, very soft and it blends products quickly, as you can tell. I think it's great for foundation, but specifically I like it for cream products like bronzers. And if you're lazy like me and you just need to go quickly, this is the brush. I'm obviously already wearing lip liner. This is Cinnamon Swell from Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Liner. I've uh, applied it probably like 30 minutes ago, so it's no longer burning me. But I gotta say, I really, really love those lip plumper liners. Lip liner plumpers? You know what I'm saying. I like them. They're good. They work. All right, then for the blush, I'm gonna use the Sigma Contour Blush Brush. And I'm gonna basically stipple that into the cheek. Oh, I like that. I like that, Victoria Beckham. So the main ingredient here is octododecanol. Mica is the second ingredient. So these are ingredients that I'm familiar with. I've seen them many times in makeup. But what's interesting is that on the side, Victoria Beckham Beauty states that this is luxury performance, clean beauty, and then it says the same thing in French. So basically, I guess their ethos is luxury performance slash clean beauty. I don't know if I knew that, to be honest. I feel like I, I got the sense that they're attempting to be luxurious because the prices are definitely on the higher side, on the higher end, and the packaging definitely feels very luxe. And also, Victoria Beckham herself is a luxy lady, you know? But I don't know if I've ever actually seen seen a brand refer to themselves as luxury, unless they're like a fashion brand, you know? But I've never really seen a beauty brand do that. Maybe I'm just not looking. I feel like we as consumers or as makeup reviewers, we refer to products as luxury solely based on price point, but I don't know if I've ever encountered a luxury brand say, hey, we're luxury. We're posh. Okay, so I have a really good under base for the next step. I've got my very bright orangey cheeks. I really do like this blush stick. It feels very comfortable. I like the fact that it blended out matte, but it's not settling into anything. It's just looking pretty and it's looking flushed like a blush should. I think I like it. Next thing I'm gonna do is reach for this Alley Oop Sensational Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I realize that they should have probably gone underneath, but you know what? This is the only skin-based product that I have that actually has pigment, so bear with me. I'm gonna use shade Shine, which I've tried before. I, I believe it's a little bit lighter because the shade that I, I think I enjoyed was the shade Beam, but it doesn't matter. I really, really like this product. I've tried it already. I've even worn it outside of being in front of the camera and I like it. And for SPF 50, you guys, this is really good coverage for a skin tint. I mean, look how well it covers. Yes, the shade is a little bit light. So right now I'm doing that strategic placement method. I'm not actually applying this product all over. Though had I been wearing this for real life, of course I would apply it all over because this is an SPF and that's what it's intended for. But man, look how impressive this coverage is. I mean, certainly you can wear this underneath your foundation, but to me, I think this is enough. Even for my skin, which could use some coverage, you know? I also really like the way that it looked on camera, which generally speaking, things for me look worse on camera than they do in real life. Unless it's like super, super, super full coverage, then it looks better on camera than in real life. But this is not the case here. This has good coverage, but I would still call it a medium type of coverage. It's not like a full glam. It's just a nice everyday type of base. But I like the way that it looked on camera the first time that I tried it. And then when I tried it on a separate day, I was even more in love. I'm telling you, this alley oop, Skin Tint Sunscreen is really, 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 really promising. And it comes in 12 shades. It's kind of unheard of for an SPF 50. Like, do you see the dew coming through? It just makes the skin look very snatched in the best way possible. It doesn't make it look fake. Just makes it look glowing and pretty and healthy and nice and just nice. Plus it's got SPF 50. Shade Shine is what I use today, but Shade Beam I like just a little bit more. It has a little bit more of a golden undertone. It matches me better, but Shine is great. Okay, next up, I have some refills from One Size Beauty. They are keeping me well stocked. Thank you, Patrick and One Size. I've got the concealer, Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer in shade one neutral, which is a medium. I specifically requested this one for the under eye and just to like pop out certain areas. From what I recall, this is a very pigmented concealer. So you really do need just a little. 
it dries down fairly quickly and it dries down matte, which is nice. So the neutral has a bit of a peachy undertone and I like that obviously for the under eye and also for just popping out certain areas like around the nose. I don't know why I don't use this concealer more. It's actually really, really great. It has a powder like finish. It does set quickly. So if you're someone who takes your time, then I would say work with one under eye at a time. But man, it covers and it mattifies. I like it. And I like the shade, really, really good. All right, I also have the Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder or Powder Foundation in the shade Medium 4 Golden Undertone. So I'm gonna use that, but first I'm gonna use my Domini Cosmetics Rosita. Why did I do a little dance? Because I love saying Rosita. And I'm gonna pop that in the under eye because it's nice and pink. I'm just gonna seal that in. I don't know you guys, I am feeling like this might be an even better makeup trial than the last one. And the last one, which is probably like exactly a week ago. Yes, we test makeup a lot around here. But that particular trial was probably one of my most favorite ones because it was just so super solid. Everything worked really well together and also on its own. And I was super impressed. It's going to be a very interesting Faves X Fails this month. I'm thinking I have a lot of faves, though I do have some fails. I'm staring at them right now. Can you guess what they are? And now for the rest of the face, let's grab that medium 4G. I'm not gonna use the powder puff because I don't want it to feel heavy and cakey. I just want a very light set. So I'm gonna use a powder and uh, brush instead. Uh, Refer 05. I feel like that is very, very nice. Mattifying, but it doesn't look cakey. Though I am gonna take a little bit on a more precise brush and just go along the top of my eyebrow. It's always so hard for me to get this area from shining and you can kind of see it shining here. But I hate setting my face before I do my brows. I always like to do my brows first. So that's like my little dilemma. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face. Even gonna lightly set some of this blush. And then of course, for the porous zones, I got my Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I've got the Dew Brush from Haley's. You can get this one on Amazon. Of course, I'm gonna link it below. Get it for this particular powder and then use it to make your pores go away. You're not actually making your pores go away, you're just making the shine go away. This plus the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder. Oh my God, oh my God. If you haven't watched my video on how to minimize your texture, please watch that video. I show my whole technique of what I do and it's like my favorite life-saving technique. It's what I do for real life whenever I'm not testing new makeup, whenever I need something trusty, reliable. Watch that video. All right, we've got a new Butter bronzer from Physicians Formula to test out. And you guys may already know how I feel about the Butter Glow Concealer. This is life right here. This is life. The only reason why I'm not using it today is because I have the new one size. That's not actually new, but I haven't used it in a while, so I decided to reach for it, especially since they sent me some. We have a very interesting little applicator. It's not actually a brush. It is a sponge. And I have to show you a close-up. It's like a little sponge on a stick. And also, this particular bronzer has a mirror on the other side. So I don't know. I don't know if I care to try this, but I guess since we're trying new makeup, let's go for it. Okay, I picked up some product. I'm gonna start with like a very safe area, which is my forehead, and I'm gonna attempt to... Oh, I don't know if I like that. I feel like that just dirtied up the forehead. Mm, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen, and now it's really hard to move. Oh no, oh no. That's weird. That was weird and unnecessary and it definitely is looking a little bit patchy for me right now. So thank God for my makeshift curtain bang over here because I'm gonna have to hide that. That 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 was not cute. Hmm, why? All right, I'm gonna pick up a little bit with a brush. I feel like with a brush, it will be a much better, much more even application. Look at that. Because you do not need a concentrated amount of powder bronzer. You need just a very diffused amount. And the only way you can get a diffused amount is if you pick it up with a brush like this. All right, so I just had dinner. And where was I? Mm, the bronzer. I feel like this product is good, but I'm not sure if we need the sponge on a stick. That's a little bit weird. And I don't think it distributes or applies the product properly. So that's just my first impression. But let's move on. Let's see what else we have here. All right, so first of all, we have quite a number of these new REM Beauty liquid eyeshadows. They look like cute bullets. Looks like there's two matte ones, kind of like nude shades. There's two shimmery ones and then two extra shimmery ones. So I'm gonna try the nude first and I'm gonna use this as my 
eye base and also my primer. So I'm going to apply that just to my lid like that and then on this side as well. I've never actually tried these, but I just got these in PR and it is celebrating REM Beauty's one year anniversary at Ulta. Actually, I didn't even know that they were at Ulta, but now I know. Oh, this is very pigmented and nice and creamy. Oh, this is a really lovely shade actually. I'm gonna see if I can use a bigger fluffy brush. Oh, I like it. I think this is nice. Sets matte, dries quickly, but the color is very smooth. It's not enhancing any texture. So, so far I really like it. Hmm, okay. Thinking I should also probably use another color. Let me go for this shade Comet. This is a light champagne -y shade. I'm just gonna add a bit of that to the inner corner and then I'm gonna just spread that out quickly. Nice, not super, super, super bright, but just like a subtle sparkle. Do you see it? Maybe too subtle for me actually. We also have the new palette. Actually, this is not new. This is in the shade Principessa. Principessa. Here we go, and this is actually one of the color stories I do not own. I quite like these palettes from REM Beauty. I've always said that, but I know not everybody feels this way. Some people are just not into the color stories. They're not into the quality of the eyeshadows, but I honestly, I have not disliked them. I have never had a bad experience with them. In fact, I love how compact they are and how easy they are for traveling. So I always keep one or two of these palettes in my travel bags. I actually have one or two Zuka bags filled with makeup for on the go, just in case I need to get out the door quickly. <laughs> and basically it just has a bunch of essentials, like basic shades, basic palettes or colors, basic lipsticks, a little bit of everything. And one of them for sure has one of the uh, REM Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I keep on wanting to say Rare Beauty because REM Beauty and Rare Beauty are just such similar names. One is by Selena, the other one is by Ariana, but it's just like, it's so hard for me to not say one and mean the other. That's actually happened to me many times. So I'm just picking up the darker brown shade and I'm just adding a little bit of depth to the outer corner. And I have another brush here, just a fluffy one that I'm keeping handy. I gotta say, I don't know if the cream eyeshadow and the powder eyeshadow from the palette are compatible. I'm feeling like it's a little bit difficult for me to blend it out. Like I am able to apply the color, but blending it out over that initial base is just not as smooth as I was anticipating. Granted, these blend just fine when it's over primer, but for some reason, though I was able to make it work, I'm not really looking forward to doing the other eye. Hmm. It's like working, but not working, you know? But generally, I like these eyeshadow palettes. Granted, I don't have this one, but usually they are so easy to blend. And this is giving me just a little bit of difficulty, though not impossible, just not super seamless, you know? I'm gonna grab this gold. This is a gold that I would call blondy. It's like a blonde colored gold, if you will. I'm gonna add that to the inner portion of my lid. Okay, that worked quite nice. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more with the finger for a bit of a pop like that. Okay, we're getting somewhere. That's kind of pretty actually. Very fall appropriate, but I like it. One more PR package I have here and it is from It Cosmetics. Oh, there's an Amazon gift card in here. Why, thank you. That is very, very nice. This is for a waterproof mascara, their new superhero waterproof. And I'll try that in a sec, but what I actually reached for were the superhero no tug shadow sticks. If I can only get them out. And there's the other. Let's grab that mascara and let's not forget that Amazon gift card. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Looks like a pearly pinky shade. And I think I'm gonna pop that in to my inner corner. I want more of a pop and I'm hoping this will give me more pop. Yes, this is perfect for the inner corner. I'm even gonna add that underneath the tear duct. I'm gonna take that up like that. Oh, so nice. Okay, this is lovely. I'm gonna grab another little brush. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit more blurred. I saw this trick on TikTok and I really liked it. I feel like this just gives a little bit of illumination, illumination rather, when you turn from side to side and it just feels so fresh. I like this little move. Cute, all right. And the other shade looks like a nudie shimmery shade, but this is such a soft shimmer. Again, it's not like that dramatic of a pop. The only thing that makes it pop is the color obviously, but the shimmer is not intense. It's very, very wearable and very like creamy. So I like these. From REM Beauty, I also have their 
mascara, but I'm gonna save this one for my sister. I believe she loves this one. I'm gonna instead try the Superhero Waterproof from It Cosmetics, but I will reach for the REM Beauty Liner. This one is a felt tip marker. I'm gonna just draw a small wing like that, just to like elongate the eye a little bit. So cute. And then I'm also gonna draw some twiggies like that. And now I gotta match my other eye. Oh yeah, so cute. Some twiggies, boom. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let me curl my lashes and let me test out this new mascara. I get very excited about new waterproof mascaras. I feel like they're just not as popular as regular mascaras. But for me, waterproof is where it's at. So whenever I see one, I'm like, yes, this is for me, hopefully. All right, lashes are curled. Time to test this baby. Let's see. I wonder what the wand's gonna be. And it's a classic. Oh, I love a classic wand. Thank you, It Cosmetics. Only thing is that it does not pick up too much product, but I feel like a mascara is one of those things you can't really judge upon the first initial impression. You have to actually give it a couple of tries. I know this because I've literally had a change of heart about some mascaras that I didn't like off the bat just because there was a learning curve and then I ended up loving them. Yeah, I feel like with this one, it's taking me some time to figure out exactly how the product applies. It does feel a little bit clumpy for my liking, but it is keeping my lashes upright, which is great. I do like the wand. I wish the product was a pinch thicker so that it would go on faster, but not too bad, not too bad. Actually, wow, these lashes look long. Hold on, let me see if I can add a little bit more over here. Up close, it does look a pinch caterpillary, like just a little bit not soft, but from far away, in my monitor over here, these lashes are looking long, and my lashes are not long. In fact, you usually can't see them if I have a liner on my lids. Kind of impressed there, kind of impressed. We've got a few more things to test out, and they are all in the lip category. First of all, I have the new Jones Road Lip Tints, all four new colors. I've got a nice nude here, shade Nude Mauve, which is really pretty, and I definitely wanna test it, but I also have a whole bunch of newness from NARS, and actually, in fact, it is their Swipe On Shine On Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. Okay, so I thought these were the bombs that I so, so love. I love shade Orgasm, I use that one all the time. I also use the one from the bronzers collection. But in fact, this is a different product altogether. This is actually a lipstick slash lip care. It's a hybrid formula that gives you shine while also delivering nourishing benefits plus long lasting wear. Okay, this is really totally different from what I was expecting. So I have to at least try one shade. And I think that shade is gonna have to be this one on edge. Oh my God, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Goes perfectly with my blush. Hello. Definitely feels like a bomb, but there's a lot more color. The finish is very shiny, but as you can see, it kind of packs a punch. It definitely delivers color, so I like that. I do actually want to go for something else, so I'm going to blot this off, even though I feel like it stains, but that's okay. So here on the side of my table, I have a really, really big PR package from Milani, and in this package, we have all the shades of the Stay Put Liquid Lip. It says here that these are only available at Walmart. And also we have eight shades of the Gilded Eyeshadow Stick. So this is what I was really looking forward to all video. I really wanted to try out these Stay Put Liquid Lips. I have these in different shades. I think I actually have it in black and I love it for Halloween. It's like one of my faves. So today I wanna go for something a little bit more neutral, but not too neutral. I'm thinking this shade here is looking right. This shade We Stan is looking kind of cute, but I also really like shade 160, which is vibe. But I'm also feeling iconic, just kind of a rosy nude, and 10 out of 10, which is like a nude nude. Okay, decisions. Decisions must be made. Ooh, this is giving me fall vibes. This is giving me job interview vibes. This is also giving me fall vibes. But I gotta test out something, so I guess I'm gonna maybe do a mixture of a couple of colors. Let me go for vibe first. Oh my god. I am so glad I grabbed this color. God, I love a good matte liquid lip. Okay, this pairs perfectly with the Cinnamon Swell Lip Injection Extreme Lip Liner from Too Faced. I really, really like this color. It is so bold, you know? Okay, I'm gonna grab one more color, the 10 out of 10 which was that very nudie nude. I'm gonna do that thing that we used to do back in 
2016, 2017. I'm gonna pop that to the center just to brighten a bit. So good. I'm here for this lipstick. I kind of want to try all the colors. There's such pretty reds in there. Oh, the beautiful wine color. I love it. I've always been a huge fan of the non-transferable liquid lipsticks. I know they were super popular back in the day, which isn't even back in the day. It's not even 10 years ago, but it seems like it's back in the day for makeup. I would love to see them come back because that was always my favorite formula to wear. You just apply it onto your lips and you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day. Ah. Oh. Feels good to have it be back. So with that said, you guys, that is my final look. Let me go ahead and add some MAC Fix Plus, another OG. <laughs> Let me fan myself with this OG Patrick Ta fan. Oh yeah, Fix Plus is still that girl. All right, and here is my final look. Not so springy, more fall appropriate, but still very wearable and rather good for a first trial of products that I've never worn before, nor have I ever paired before. So here we have it, the full final face. What do we think? I'll tell you what I think. I think the face base is looking really, really, really rather good. Very natural, not cakey whatsoever. From far away, it doesn't even look like I'm wearing makeup, at least in my monitor. It looks like I'm wearing some blush and some bronzer, but overall, everything looks very clean and very healthy. That is my ideal, my optimal way of seeing my own skin. And I like what I see. I feel like the Ali Oop skin tint with SPF 50 does an incredible job of beautifying the skin. Not just the surface of the skin, but also the complexion, the color. It hides imperfections, it has really great coverage. I'm seriously, seriously impressed with this product. I gotta say, I have been sleeping on the one size concealer. It is really very good. I love how matte it is. I love how pigmented it is. It's full coverage, it covers everything. It's proving to be reliable, yeah. Everything else that I tried, namely the blush stick by Victoria Beckham Beauty and also the bronzer stick from Nude Sticks worked very well. They look very nice. I still see a little bit of that orange blush seeping through the skin tint, so I really like that. Overall, I'm just very pleased with the way that everything is looking right now. I feel like I shouldn't be taking off this makeup at this moment. I should probably go out there and film a TikTok or something. I don't know, I like the way that my eyeshadow looks, the mascara is very promising. Granted, I didn't think that the REM Beauty powder eyeshadows paired very well over the matte liquid eyeshadow. I, I feel like these are products that should probably be worn separately or alone, but after finessing it, I think I was able to make it work. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm pleased and I hope you are pleased with this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and for subscribing if you haven't already. Now's your opportunity. You could still do so, and by doing so, you will be supporting me and my channel. So I hope you do decide to do that if you haven't done so already. So now I am going to zoom on out. I'm gonna invite you to check out more of my videos right here, and I'm gonna say farewell to you for now. Peace out, and I'm out. Deuces.